Now you gotta talk about why it's called East Coast. <laughs> nah, I was in the East Coast my whole life. The whole thing is a journey. Hip hop itself, West Coast and East Coast music, like 90s with all the beef and stuff. So I just thought that like, hey, um, technically saying we are the real East Coast. I like the sound of it. I was in the East Coast my whole life, so. <laughs> The first episode is Bohan because I feel like a lot of my generation could um, relate to Bohan's experience. I don't really feel like I fit in here, I don't really feel like I fit in there and Bohan's music speaks right into that. All these terms like Chinese rapper, we're just all making hip hop music. I happen to be Chinese. It's a good way to start because our audience would relate to him more. And then the second one is Yeti Out. They do this underground party, eventually they spread out into Shanghai, Hong Kong, and London and start doing worldwide parties. So they would export Eastern talent to the West. So originally we were always West to East. We're now inviting DJs, MCs, live artists over from China into Europe. Mames Zhao with James Mao. He's currently behind the scene making these videos, helping to promote Chinese talent in the West. I think like that like really motivates you and makes you want to keep going because it's like influencing the next generation. And then the fourth episode, we have this international city, Hong Kong, and that you have a rapper that's a rising star right now who only raps in English. Every kid has like their own little world inside of them that they don't express in real life. You know, I'm just like any other kid. That's why I, I tell my story in my songs. We move on to Stanley, which is like the gateway to the Chinese hip hop, like local scene because he started this YouTube platform that only focused on local talents in China. At that time frame, like the best thing you could do is just keep on pumping out content. Content is king. Knowing his platform, I wanted to show DJ Wordy because you can't talk about the new generation without showing y'all who are the OGs in the game. And I saw that wow, it's like a mind blow. And I was like, like all the scratch, all the beat juggling, all the like turntable records. I want to do this. I want to be this guy. He himself is one of the very first turntablers in China. I want to end the whole series with um, the homegrown hero, which is Johnny J. Rap is a language with language. is no country, but language Personally, I was hoping that our audience um, instead of jumping straight into, oh, why, why should I care about this Chinese hip-hop artist? They will have the patience to like really learn about how far hip-hop has reached. The whole thing is a journey. The idea is that like I want to at least show our audience that there is a lot of the younger generation right now. Street culture, hip hop, that's what they're under the influence of and they want to do better for that culture. Doesn't matter if they're Chinese, doesn't matter who they are. So um, it's huge. It's actually affecting a lot of like the youth and why not talk about it? It's, it's a good thing to show all these different characters. It's all walks of life together, right? So um, yeah, that's the sole purpose of this series. It's just to break the stereotype. Facts. <laughs>